Welcome to GMAT Tuesdays. I'm Kevin from Magoosh here again. Um, in this video, we're going to look at a common mistake that students make when it comes to percent change. Um, so I have this question here. Uh, this came from our blog. You'll see some links below the video where you can click on it and go read more. And actually, there'll be more information about this concept. Um, but anyways, let's take a look at the question and see. So the original price of a suit is $200. The price increased by 30%. And after, the store published a 30% off coupon for a one day sale. Given that consumers who use the coupon on sale day were getting 30% off the increased price, how much did these consumers pay for the suit? So we're starting at $200, and they, it goes up by 30%, so we can say plus 30%, and then it goes down by 30%, so we can say minus 30%. And the mistake that students make is that they think, oh, plus 30%, minus 30%, that's like 0%, so it's going to be $200, and then go choose C right here. And they are wrong. They are always wrong. This is a trap that the GMAT is putting there for students to see if they fall into it. So what I would do is immediately eliminate that answer choice. And remember this crucial concept. If we go up by a percent and down by the same percent, you won't end up in the same place. So it's important. Whoa. Wow. Okay. A little bit quick. So it's important to remember that percents are not values. Yeah, if you added 30 and then subtract 30, you'd, go this, you'd end up at the same place. Percents are parts of values. Um, so don't confuse them as actual real values. So let's find out what the actual answer would be. So first, I'm going to do the first part here, add 30%. So the way that we do that is we take our $200 and we find out what is 30% of $200 and then we're going to add that to $200. So 200 times 30% or a percent is just per 100, so it's 30 over 100. Then this makes my life pretty easy because then I can cancel these hundreds out and I see 2 times 3 is 60, or excuse me, 2 times 30 is 60. Then plus that 200, and I end up with 260. So that's what the price of the suit was after they increased it. Now, what I want to find out is how much did people pay once they use that 30% coupon? So now I'm going to take the 260 here, multiply it again by 30% or 30 over 100. Um, and then whatever the answer is here, I'm going to subtract that from 260. So um, we can eliminate some zeros here. 3 times 26 is 8 carry the 1, 6, 78. So now I have 78, and I'm going to subtract 260, or excuse me, subtract 78 from 260. And that's going to leave me with 182 which we can see is our answer choice here, A. So we can see that when we, do, when we write out the problem this way, that we're not going to end up in the same place because we're taking 30% of a different number than what we started with. 30% of 200 is 60, and 30% of 260 is 78. Um, and this is something we sort of intuitively know. Like if I said, do you want 10% of $100 or 10% of... Uh, $100,000, you would say, give me 10% of $100,000 um, because it's a different value. You're going to end up with more money. And so it's the same concept here. You just need to remember this crucial concept when you encounter percent change problems that if you're going up by 1% and down by the same percent, you don't end up in the same place. All right, so there's actually a quicker way to solve this problem, and I didn't do it here. I'm going to do it next week in our video where we talk about multipliers. Do you know what a multiplier is? Well, if you want to find out, come back next week and I'll show you how we can solve this problem like that. Very quickly, it'll save you time on the test and you'll learn a little bit about multipliers and how they relate to percents. Well, thank you for taking the time to watch the video. I really appreciate it. 
Um, again, any comments, questions, uh, requests, let us know down in the comments. I uh, will be here every Tuesday uh, talking about GMAT stuff. So be excellent to the universe, and I will see you soon.